Thank you very much, Cynthia. And thank you all for joining us this afternoon and joining us uh, for uh, an inaugural sort of presentation that we've put together for you on wound bed preparation. Uh, my first topic is one that's really near and dear to my heart and something that I really like to teach about because I think it's the basis for how we make decisions subtly as we stand over the wounds that we take care of. And that's really recognizing the wound that's chronic as opposed to those that might be acute. And uh, we're, so we're going to go through a, a, a series of things to build up to actually differentiating the two. Okay, just go ahead and advance them for me for right now. Whenever any of us have been taught and learned uh, in our initial wound training uh, or went to our first seminar, especially if it was a comprehensive one looking at wound management, uh, we learned about the phases of wound healing. And I'm going to circle back and talk a little bit more about those. However, I think before you can really understand that, you have to look at some of the players that are important in the wound healing uh, process. Next slide. So I'm going to go through just a few of these players. Um, one, the first one is, is something that also is, is so fun to talk about and think about uh, what, what goes on down at the cellular level, at that level that we can't see. So all these things down at that level are really smarter than we are. And those are growth factors. Thank you so much. Um, you'll hear the term growth factor, which is a specific protein, but you'll also hear them sort of comprehensively called cytokines. And the word cytokine is a, is a, is a term referencing a mediator uh, with cyto meaning cell and kine meaning kinetic or activity. So a cytokine is anything that can impact cellular mobility, cellular uh, activity in the, in the wound bed. So growth factors are a type of cytokine. These are small proteins that are produced by cells, and they can bind to the extracellular matrix so that they can be used later. They're also stored in certain cells, like platelets that are released at the time of injury, and they basically help coordinate and regulate the entire wound healing process. So they're responsible for all the activities that cells do, such as cell migration. They stimulate a cell to migrate into a wounded area. They're responsible for those cells proliferating or mitosis. They're responsible, and we'll look a little closer at uh, uh, angiogenesis, the formation of the new blood vessels. They're responsible for the production of other kinds of uh, 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 growth factors and for the production and degradation of extracellular matrix. They're also uh, responsible for signaling cells when there's a time to live and sort of a time to die. And this program time that cells die is called apoptosis. So the way they work is that they're released from a cell.